Welcome back to Vanilla Level Design Contest 9. Today we're starting with a level. <laughs> oh well. Magmatic Caverns, I think it was called. <laughs> oh, you jerk. Yeah, I'm coming right off of that horrible last level, which I'm sure people are going to get on me for complaining so much about. But, I mean, really, rely making the secret exit rely on something like sprites not despawning? I'm not sure how you're supposed to get a lot of these. I guess that one required the red switch or something. There might have been an updated version that added a green door to that level or something. I don't know. If there is, then... I might download, like, a save state or something of the game with all the normal exits and secret exits outside of the post-game completed. Just because, really, forget that level. I'm gonna try and 100% everything else, don't worry. Unless there are Kaizo levels in the post-game. I'm surprised that Raokao actually did that... Um... Lava level in the worst world. I got the same effect. I also really want to start getting to other LPs. Because 20 plus parts to an LP, uh, to me, feels like a long time because that's at least a month's worth of recording without playing any other game. <laughs> Unless it's like a complete masterpiece of a game like freaking Chrono Trigger. I don't know, it feels a little much. But at the same time, I also like some really freaking long genres like RPGs, so. Okay. 41st by Groogie, Magmatic Cliffs. How do I get the secret? Uh, oh, wow. That is a convoluted thing. I think I'm supposed to bounce off of you. Well, it's not really convoluted, it's just I wouldn't have thought of that. Well, I guess I did think of that. It wasn't obvious at first glance, let's put it that way. Eh. Oh. Are those poda boos? Aha. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Serious guys of the gym ways. <laughs> Yay. 
<laughs> Alright, cool. That's how you do a secret level, right? 21st place by GD, Stormy Ruin. The end of the mountain world. Well, you got the stormy part, right? Okay, was that a door handle, or are we doing the... Replaying the moment before your death, infinite times. The flowey story. Really looking forward to more of um, yellow and bell. Oh, okay. That that's what I expected. Let's see. Um, step on the brown blocks to trigger the eating. Oh, okay. Look out! The clouds with marked rays are dangerous and can cause oh. So they're Zeus men. They hide the guys that stomp. Okay. Oh, I get it. So I step on that. And, oh, that's actually clever. See, I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have thought, oh, well, I need to find, oh, ooh, tricky. Come on, Fox. That was more a smoker lady than tricky. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. I like this level. Though I'm not sure if I've seen where I at least think to look for a secret yet. These ruins look pretty intact, though. Ex excuse me. Oh. oh, I see. Ba 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 da ba ba. You found the secret exit already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, this is how you do a gimmick level well. You don't make the entire level rely on knowledge of it. It's just there as an extra mechanic. That may or that may help or hinder you. I like that the brown blocks can connect to the eater blocks, too. I'm not sure I would play an entire hack based around this gimmick, but... <coughs> a couple of levels around it would be cool. Reasonable dragon coins, too. Watch out. Ah. <laughs> Alright, 
right, that was, I like that level. Oh. Not expecting that. All right. So we've got Space World, Mystery World, and Cave World left, as well as Best World. Let's just kind of check on how we're doing. Um, I forget how to check how far you are. Oh, well. <sighs> Let's see. Cave World is... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight world. Eight levels. Unless this actually connects somewhere. No. All right, so let's start with 107th place by Hyper Shattuck, Molten Cavern. Um, excuse me? Kidding me? <laughs> uh. Let's see, arrow up. Um, okay. So requiring you to not get hit immediately. That that that's a good sign. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stop making this mandatory. Whatever. Wow. Already? Oh. Okay, that's a f that's actually a decent kudos note. I don't remember ever finding a Kudos Moon in the vanilla game. Oh. Oh, God, that music. Hang on. Let me turn the volume back up. Ow. <laughs> that is physically painful music. scrollers without any set piece to them. They need something to them, like the boss levels in Super Meat Boy. Alright. 105th place by Dax. Oops. That inspires hope. Speaking of... <laughs> Hold on! Mushroom God! <laughs> Where's the oops? The fact that you said it to be a vertical auto scroller? I mean, this is better than nothing. You're being chased very slowly by lava. Or lava, as Etho says. It's all about... Okay. 
Okay. Okay. God. Getting blindsided by boulders. The Northern Lion story, but no. Um, I am referencing other LPRs a lot in this episode. <laughs> and the last one. coins there. What is the purpose of this mushroom lord? <laughs> so, how are you guys? Finally started a world of Final Fantasy. It's a decent game, although it kind of falls into that issue that a lot of level 5 games do, weirdly, where there's a lot of text with, like, no substance to it. Which was actually my main issue with fantasy life. Like, the story dragged on for the same three jokes. I guess I can try and knock out the boulders. There we go. Uh, this is not entertaining. I also started Pokemon Moon, and I've been playing it really slowly. Um, like, I'm still on the first island. I'm still in that, like, mode that I get into every time I play a new Pokemon game, which is, alright, I'm gonna catch everything I run into. The fact that there are encounters in towns is probably going to dash that idea. And no, I haven't run into Guzma yet. He reminds me of Rick Sanchez from what I've heard of him, though. Like, I've heard his basic motive, I think, and I'm wondering how they're going to turn him into a world-destroying jerk like every other team leader since Rocket. I still find it hilarious that Lysander made something called the Holocast, <laughs> and that completely flew by me. <laughs> I haven't actually played much of Y either. Oh my god, why is this level still going? When I realized it was still going, the smile faded from my face. Ugh. What? Boss music? Are you gonna make me fight Resnor? No, thank God. Red Switch Palace by Ninja Boy. Oh, no. I shouldn't do that yet. So I need to knock the red shell up there. So I can get that spring. I need to do that with the piece. Okay. Okay, how was I supposed to know there was a freaking block here? Okay. Okay. 
I probably ruined it by not catching that, but... the most though. Oh. oh, I think this is more of a bonus room. Alright. <clears throat> Activate the red switch. Congratu congratulation. You have completed a great switch. This is proved. <laughs> What game is that? I recognize that. <clears throat> 15th place by Lux. Please hold the line. Orange tracks will accelerate you and blue tracks will slow you down. Just think of blue stop signs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go quiet for this level.
I can't interrupt Megalovania. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a cool level, though, and it was perfectly synced up to the song. I feel like they took the song and concept and designed them to get... designed the level for the song. <sighs> Next time, more Cave World. It's a cave story. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs>